Ring, ring, ring. Is this Santa? No, no. Santa, it's for you. But this is, how may I help you? Hi, Santa, it's John. Just a quick question. Can I own one of your reindeer? Not for sale. Well, I really want to travel around the world like you do each Christmas, so if you don't let me have one of your, one of your reindeer, will you please tell me how you get around the world? Well, first, I fly in the stratosphere, which is where airplanes fly. Then I... Well, Santa! Well, actually, according to my calculations, you can't get around the world that fast. Wait a minute. Who said that? Where's John? I like John much better than... Who are you? Well, scientists are never wrong. Yeah, yeah, I've had this conversation a million times over the years. Isaac Newton stopped by one time. I showed Galileo what's up. The best was when little I Albert Einstein showed up. Go ahead, think what a little brain can think. Wait, I wasn't finished. I still wanted to talk to him about breaking the sound barrier. Hey John, Santa here, give this to your sister. Okay, nice to talk to you again, Santa. Geesh. I've done some research and it is possible to get around the world in one night. I know it. I know it's possible because duh, I'm saying that and I've done it a few times, but I figured out you might want something more official since you are a scientist and all. Okay. Here's how. There is help with my reindeer and time changes. What? You know how there is the central time and eastern time and time and mountain time zones? I have no idea what that is. I'm only five. Wait a second, you're only five? I'm arguing with a five-year-old? Never mind, listen here, Missy. I'll pick you up in my sleigh. I will explain to you in a way that you can understand. Okay. Come on, I don't have all night. Okay, we're going to get the kids. Come on, Jeffrey, let's go. Santa, show me how you can stretch this thing out. I tell you what, Brooklyn, I will make this day last 48 hours. Let's go to Samoa. Some more of what? No, you dummy. Samoa, an island on the Pacific Ocean. But why start there? That's where the international date line is. In other words, it's where the day officially begins on Earth. If we start here and head west, we will be able to use time zones all over the world and make a day and make a 24 hour day last 48 hours. Sweet! I still don't get it. As long as I travel 2 million miles per hour going west, I will be able to go faster than Earth rotation, cutting through the time zones, tossing presents out to children, and getting back to the North Pole to eat, left eat some leftovers with Mrs. Claus. All I heard was 2 million and something about food. I'm in. All right, so you've convinced me on extending time, but I have many more questions. Like what? Friction, won't you burn up traveling that fast in our atmosphere? Easy, my sleigh is lined with hundreds of specially designed heat resistant tiles that act, that act as a shield against the force of friction. Okay, how about delivering presents? There's probably 800 million children in 200 million different homes. Presents? I can help with that. Just give them all to me. I can deliver my presents by ultralizing a theory of reality. The theory of who will watch your light? Google it. Where we are wasting time. Let's take to the skies. Okay. No, my phone! Good thing your parents are getting you a new one for Christmas. I, I mean, never mind. I didn't say anything. I can't believe Santa actually made it happen. I mean, the heat shield, time zones, it's simply amazing. I can't believe I dropped my phone. I can. Either way, it's pretty incredible. I hope we get to do it again next year.